Greetings and welcome to our Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Daria with Aura Inc. and today I'll be demonstrating how to create and manage price attributes in Aura Commerce. Price attributes are custom parameters which represent price values specified per unit of quantity and in different currencies, such as a manufacturer suggested retail price (MSRP), a minimum advertised price (MAP), or a wholesale price. For the products which are sold only in one unit of quantity or currency, a product attribute will be enough to use, for example, price per item in dollars. Though if a product requires more than one regular attribute, for example, price per item, price per set, price in dollars or price in euros, using the price attributes will be a better option. Within Aura Commerce, you can establish any number of price attributes to store internal information about the price elements that are valid for your business. For example, cost of premium packaging for the products in the high price segment. These price attributes may be used as an input information for the product prices listed on your website. You can also use this information to calculate new price values when using product assignment and price calculation rules. For more information regarding product assignment and price calculation rules, please see our related videos in the media library. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to create a new price attribute and then add a value to this new field for a product. For our example, we'll use MAP, which stands for the minimum advertised price. In Aura Commerce, we can keep track of the MAP values provided by the manufacturer for all the products by creating a price attribute. Then we'll input the price attribute information for the entire product base. Let's get started with creating a price attribute. Navigate to Products, Price Attributes in the main menu. Click Create Price Attribute to display a blank attribute form. Give a price attribute a meaningful name. This name is displayed throughout the system. We'll call it MAP. In the field name, Type the name which is used in the code and in the database to represent the price attribute. For example, we'll type in MAP. Next, select the currencies that are supported for this price attribute. Click the desired currency to add it as a supported currency. Or click and hold Ctrl key to select multiple ones. For this case, we'll choose the Euro and Dollar currencies. Once you're finished, click Save and Close in the top right corner of the page. Click the Price Attributes breadcrumb to return to the list of price attributes. Now you can see your new price attribute is listed in the general page. Here you can view, edit or delete the attribute if necessary by hovering over the More Options menu to the right of the item. Once the attribute is created, you'll then need to set the value for every product in the Product Prices field. You can do that manually for the individual product or import a bulk of price attribute information. We'll start by creating a price attribute manually. For this example, let's add a $29.99 MAP price and $24.99 euros MAP price for a designer lamp. Navigate to Products and then Products in the main menu. Select the product which you are going to set the price attribute for. We'll choose the designer lamp as previously mentioned. Hover over the More Options menu to the right of the selected product and click the Edit icon. The Product Details page displays. In the Product Prices section, you'll see the Price Attribute field, which we've just created. Provide the currency value per unit. For Euro, it's 24.99 and for US Dollars, it's 29.99. And click Save and Close as you finish. As previously mentioned, you can also input a list of price attribute values for one or more products instead of processing them manually. This may be more efficient from the merchant's perspective, who is working with a massive number of items. To get started with importing a bulk list of product price attributes, we first should navigate to Products and then Products in the main menu. Click Import File on the top right. An Import dialog displays. Select the Price Attributes Data tab. Now you need to upload the file in the CSV format which was prepared beforehand. For your reference, you may export the template with the necessary headers provided in this tab and fill it with all the required information. Click Export Template and open it. For example, we are going to upload the MSRP price attribute value for our designer lamp, which is listed as $20, as we have already created the MAP attribute early in this tutorial. Save the file. 
Click Choose File and select the CSV file from your directory. The file is ready for input and it's time to pick the input strategy. There are two strategies. The Add and Replay strategy overrides the existing price attribute data – MIP, MSRP and others – or add the new ones. The Reset and Add strategy is useful when you need to clear all the existing values and add the new ones. Let's have a closer look at each of them. In our case, using the Add and Replay strategy, we are simply adding the MSRP dollar value to our Design LM product, as there was no value before. For our example, if we were to input another MIP value for our designer lamp, considering that the product has already the MIP value of $29.99, the input strategy would override it with the new value mentioned in the file. Unlike the Add and Replay strategy, Reset and Add removes the existing price attribute values for all the products, regardless of the currency, if the price attribute is currently listed in the file. Next. It adds only the newly imported values mentioned in this file. For example, we received a notice that the MSRP price attributes have changed for all products. As a heads up, we know that the designer lamp MSRP has changed to $25. So we are going to change the MSRP price attribute from $20 to $25 in our CSV file and check how the Reset and Add strategy works for this particular case. We have provided the MSRP value only for a single product, the designer lamp. However, as we are importing this file using the Reset and Add strategy, the MSRP values in any currencies are removed for all the products, and the designer lamp product acquires a new MSRP price attribute value of $25 instead of the previous $20. Once you have decided which strategy to select, you can validate your input results by clicking the Validate button. This option helps determine if the input can be successful. The input may not be successful if the value you input doesn't conform the system requirements. If any records with errors exist, you'll need to fix them in a file and re-upload it before starting the input. Once the file is successfully validated, click Input File. As you can see, an interactive status message appears on the interface, informing you about the input progress. And once the input is complete, the changes are reflected in the list upon refresh. Additionally, an email message with the input status is delivered to your mailbox. Thanks for watching! For more video tutorials, please check out the Aura Inc. Media Library and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay informed of the latest tutorials and webinars.